You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This is Hill, and we are here on Mars with Zendarius Shepard, Liara Tassoni, and Caden Alinko. There he is. All right. We have been fighting through hordes, and I do mean hordes, of Cerberus troops, trying to find some sort of Prothean artifact, I believe. All right. Let's continue, people. Man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Hmm. You are wasting time. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Oh, people, do you see this? A renegade option? And you know we have to go for it. Don't count me out. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. Hmm. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. We are... Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Step away from the console. It's 
Eva Corre, people. Now. She's got the data. Get her. She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. Oh. Ladder. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Or are we supposed to be um trying to subdue her? I don't have anything to use against her. So let's keep moving. I need Caden, who is on cooldown. I don't know. Will Singularity help? No. She can run right through them. Oh! I was going to say she was a horrible shot, but hey, she actually hit me. Oh. On the side here, on the side. One human, anyway. Let him go. Orders dispose of him. was our mission to Mars, and it didn't end well. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. 
Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. <laughs> People, I'm, I'm just uh, amazed by these textures, the, the Allot texture mod. This game looks so incredible. I'm, I'm just sitting here, you know, jaw drop, just looking in on this with amazement. All right, so... I just hate running. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. 
though it's Commander now. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks, I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. All right. And here we are on the Citadel. Getting funding. That's a lot of money. All right. I just noticed as the talking was going on, I don't have any subtitles. Is that something that's easy to fix? There we go. On. Oh, here's the... Shepherd's helmet default off in conversations. Can we do often conversations for this? Yes. All right, we'll go with these settings. And save. All right, I have no idea which way I'm going. It looks like there's only one direction, though. It looks like we're going to Huerta Memorial Hospital. Area One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. It's very nice. The uh the logo up there, very professional looking. What's this? Serta Supplies? Welcome to Serta. Oh, I can increase my Metagel capacity? All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Alright, we'll, we'll hold on to our money for the moment. Shopaholic, okay, I gotta... A award for that. Wait, these women look familiar. No, it can't be. Dr. Chakwas? And Dr. Michelle? Okay. There you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards. Coordinating oh, I guess it wasn't Dr. Hatton. Michelle. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. Oh, it is Dr. Michelle. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. And what have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, 
Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Hmm. You belong on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Hmm. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of All right. So we've got, uh, I guess it's Paragon. I don't know if they still call it Paragon and, and Renegade. I believe so. So we, we did get Paragon reputation by talking to her in that way. So yes, that was Dr. Michelle that walked off. Interesting. I do not know. There's no markers or anything. No markers at all to tell me which way to go. What? Seriously? You've got a man on the floor? In obvious pain and discomfort? What kind of hospital is this? Here we are, Caden. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Oh, on your feet, soldier. No, get better. We need you. Especially for your combos. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Hmm. All right. Two more Paragon reputation. Is there anything in here that we need to check out? I do recall that there are missions that are given. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you But I guess it's too early. I think there are some missions that you do get from Berta Memorial. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think it's time to head to... What was our other choice? Okay, Welcome, there we Commander go. Citadel Embassies, let's go. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. And I believe I'm going to see Ambassador Udina. I'm appreciating how I'm not being overwhelmed by missions and whatnot. So what is this? CSEC, Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The uh -oh. Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. 
My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Uh-oh. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Commander Shepard has answers. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Why? Why take the job, and why did you color your hair? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. It's a stupid game. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. No, I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Um, it actually is the end of days, Commander Bailey. All right, let's go. And I think Earth Counselor Donnell Udina. All right, let's go. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True. But in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Hmm. I believe in trying. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Adina's right. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Hmm. Shepard, meet me in my office. It's not looking good, I people. I hope that's an offer of support. 
I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Not looking good. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... Hmm, you can't be serious. The Reapers are tearing us apart and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The summit leaders set our war strategy, and this council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. Hmm. Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. Uh-oh. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Alright, so Commander Shepard is now a Spectre again. Okay, oh, we got a lot of uh, data coming in. We'll just wait till this completes here. Check out his office. This, this, this game looks really, really nice. Very interesting. These, the texturization here. Why are there symbols on his face? That's interesting. Oh well. It is what it is. Overall, though, these textures are amazing. Um, is there something else you can say to me? The council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships, I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. All right, well, that sounds like a step in the right direction. Let's ask about the political situation. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Let's ask about council leverage. And look at those eyes. Look at the piercing blue, the power behind them, the biotics. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical. She might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His homeworld is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. 
Let's ask about Earth. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Hmm. Let's ask about his personal situation. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. Okay. That's it. I should go. I'll be here. All right, it's not looking good, people. Not looking good at all. All right, as much as this is riveting for me to hear these conversations and immerse myself in the lore, we cannot let these episodes run on for too long. I have to have more control over this because I think we are letting these a little bit long. They're running a little bit long. But anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out. Thank you.